Well, on this next to last day of 2023, uh, let's do some uh, some NBA scores on this Saturday night. Last Saturday of the calendar year. Um, well, the Jazz beat the Heat 117-109. Pacers beat the Knicks 140-126. Bulls over the Sixers. 105-92. And, uh, and the Mavericks beat the Warriors 132-122. Uh, Luka Doncic had a double-double with 39 points and 10 rebounds. And uh, also... Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, Curry had 25 points, though, in the loss. Chris Paul had 24 points. And, uh, but the big story of the night was that the Detroit Pistons finally end their 28-game losing streak by barely beating the Toronto Raptors 129-127, despite... Siakam's 35 points and Dennis Schroeder's 30 points and 9 assists. Meanwhile, Kate Cunningham led the scoring with 30 points and 12 assists. Jalen Dern had a double-double in the win. Only their third win overall of the year. I mean, wow. And the Lakers fall short to the Timberwolves, 108-106. LeBron James on his 39th birthday had 26 points. Anthony Davis had 33 points and 17 rebounds. And boy, it looked like that, uh, well, AD and L LeBron were the only two guys in double digits in scoring tonight. And it looked like I thought LeBron was going to hit that game-tying three-pointer with just a few seconds left. I thought his feet were behind the arc, but the referees reviewed it and made it a two, which I thought was nonsense. But Meanwhile, for the Timberwolves, uh, Anthony Edwards led the way with 31 points. Rudy Gobert had a double-double, a lucky 13, actually. 13 points, 13 rebounds. Nas Reed had 21 points. And Carl Anthony Towns fell one rebound and one point short, short of a double-double as the Minnesota Timberwolves improved their home record to 14 wins and only one loss. Their, low, their lone home loss came against Sacramento, which was on Black Friday. That's why Minnesota is the best in the West at the moment. And tomorrow we have six games across the association. We have the Hawks against the Wizards. We got the Nets against the Thunder. We got the Lakers against the Pelicans, a back-to-back. -back. We got the Celtics against the Spurs. Grizzlies, Kings, Magic Sun. So that wraps up 2023. And yes, let's hope that the Celtics lose tomorrow to the San Antonio Spurs. But Well, here's your schedule for New Year's Day. The Knicks host the Timberwolves. Raptors host the Cavs. Rockets host the Pistons. The Bucks host the Pacers. The Nuggets host the Hornets. Jazz host the Mavericks. Suns host the Blazers. And the Clippers host the Heat. And that's how New Year's Day will start. And, of course, tomorrow will be a busy day in the NFL. But tonight, it was the, uh, Detroit, it was the Dallas Cowboys who barely beat the, uh, who barely beat the uh, Detroit Lions 20-19. And we even had some bowl games today. Uh, Mississippi beat Penn State in the Peach Bowl 38-25. In the Music City Bowl, Maryland beat Auburn 31-13. In the Orange Bowl, Georgia beat Florida State 63-3. And in the Arizona Bowl, Wyoming beat Toledo 16-15. And yes, New Year's Eve is going to be full of football and some NBA games. Meanwhile, happy birthdays, of course, to LeBron James. And, of course, to uh, uh, yeah, LeBron, Sandy Koufax. Tiger Woods, Lewis Nash, Tyrese, Heidi Fleiss, and A.J. Przinsky, and a happy heavenly birthday to the late Frank Torrey, who was Joe's older brother. So, Well, that wraps it up for this Saturday night, and I hope you all have a good night.
and we'll, we'll we'll see you next time. And as we say goodbye to 2023, which has been a really up and down year, peace out.